Hey, Tim's Workshop here. Hey, today I'm uh, out on Lake Washington um, doing a test on my uh, fish finder. Last time I went out, um, it uh, worked for uh, like 60 feet, and then when I got out to where it was like two or 300 feet deep, uh, it showed like one foot, two foot, you know. So, so I brought it out to Lake Washington here, and uh, I'll turn the camera around and explain what I did or what I found. And uh, it seems to be working good here on Lake Washington, and there is some trop out here today. So. Um, similar to the way it was out in the Puget Sound so I was thinking maybe the maybe the the chop affected the uh, the reading on the uh, the fish finder but it, uh, it doesn't seem to be doing that uh, I have a hummingbird helix 5 and uh, I'll uh, turn it around and show you uh, the setup uh, menu and and where I found the uh, what I think was a problem all right so right now you can see uh, depth, uh, I'm at 93 feet, and uh, I have the engine off right now, so we're just kind of coasting along here. So uh, we'll go back here, and when you hit uh, exit, it takes you back to the uh, first screen, you know, get rid of all the stuff that you had on there to begin with. So this is pretty much the first screen that comes up. So let's hit uh, uh, menu and menu again. And that shows your uh, top bar with all the uh, settings. If you go over to the uh, first one, that's your alarms for fish alarm, depth alarm, low battery alarm, um, whatever you want to set up. If you don't want it, just turn it off. Um, next one is the sonar uh, beam select I got it at uh, 200k but you can change it to to um, 83k Hertz if that uh, makes it better for you surface clutter switch fire um, you just have to if you have a hummingbird you'll have to read the uh, manual and it tells you what all that relates to uh, fish ID, uh, so sonar, so um, you can go over to navigation, uh, waypoints, uh, that's good for like if you drop crab pots and you want to uh, find them again. Uh, you hit your waypoints a couple times and it'll mark it. Uh, it has a marker here. You hit the mark button a couple times, and uh, and that way, uh, when you go away, leave your pots, uh, especially in the Puget Sound, you want to be able to come and find them again. So that's how you do that. The chart uh, on this, I just have the basic charts on here, but I also can put in a card. Uh, of course, you got pay for it, which gives you a lot better uh, definition of the uh, bottom of the uh, lake or, uh, or uh, uh, salt water that you're in, and uh, shows you the the drop offs, which is real handy for uh, fishing. So I'm going to have to get one for the Puget Sound, and it works really good for lakes as well. Um, and then the setup. Um, Make sure you have this set on feet. That's one thing I found uh, when I came out today. It was set on metrics. <laughs> well, that will really uh, screw you up as far as uh, uh, you know your uh, settings. Restore defaults. You can restore defaults to uh, in case you mess around with it and uh, get it all screwed up. You can always hit re reset defaults and. Uh, Go back to the original settings. Sonar is on. Demonstration. Sound controls. Snapshot screen. And so forth. So there is a, uh, a setting on here that uh, will show you uh, your depth and uh, set it on auto okay <laughs> a 
or you can set it for you know like this thing will go as far as 1500 feet deep if you want but make sure it's on auto I can't remember right now where it's at but if you play with it you'll find it and set it on auto for your uh, depth range is what it's called all right depth range well let's see Adams feet yeah we want it on the feet and then when you want to get out of this just hit exit and then you're back to the screen you can change this view to um, this is one I like so it shows where you you've where you started at and where you're at now on your chart and the lake that we're in and uh, but it also shows your uh, your bottom so you can find your fish and uh, and all that so all right so that's it for the uh, sonar I uh, hopefully this will help you uh, I'm gonna probably make uh, another video down the line when I get more used to all the settings on this but that's just the basics for now all right thanks Tim's workshop. Hey, uh, I'm back at uh, the house here and to add on to the uh, Hummingbird uh, Fish Finder Helix 5 uh, video I made out on the water, um, I wanted to add to the, uh, the lower range and how to find that to set it to auto so um, when you're out in the water you'll get the right depth reading. And uh, so let me turn it on here and go through a few more things here to add to my uh, video. All right, let's uh, turn it on here. Press exit. Menu. Uh, let's go back. Let it fire up here. Shows one foot because that's what I'm at right now in the yard. Um, and what I'm going to do here, um, I'm going to read up on all these settings on the Helix 5 uh, sonar and GPS unit. There are some that uh, have the sonar. GPS uh, down imaging or side imaging. Uh, I don't have the down in imaging or side imaging. I have the sonar GPS, which is great for you know um, fishing and you know uh, for trout and uh, going out in the uh, sound for crab and uh, salmon and and stuff like that. I need to get a card with the more uh, detailed. Uh, uh, graphs or uh, chart for the Puget Sound and uh, Washington State Lakes as well but uh, for now um, this is fine for what I'm using it for make sure that uh, if you hit uh, restore defaults right if you do that uh, make sure you go back and reset your depth at feet not millimeters or kilometers or whatever and make sure your miles per hour is uh, set and not the international uh, settings all right so do that every time you hit default now uh, when you go to menu here see where it says sensitivity okay and then the next one's low range and it's set to auto uh, scroll down with your cursor and see how I have it set on auto and uh, it goes up to 1500 feet deep that's what you want uh, you want it set it on uh, auto unless you prefer to manually set it and then you can set it for whatever depth you want but uh, uh, the issue I was having with depth was it was not on auto. It was set at five feet. <laughs> and uh, for whatever reason, any, uh, when I dropped the crab pots, it said 60 to 90 feet 
on that setting, which is kind of weird. I guess it goes more than just the five feet, but uh, it wouldn't go any deeper than that. So make sure you have it set on auto and uh, you can go as 1500 feet if you're <laughs> in anything that deep I would uh, be concerned going out that deep with a 17 foot uh, fishing boat but uh, two to three hundred feet is uh, what I'm looking for for uh, fishing for coho in the Puget Sound so that'll work for me and uh, the rest of it you know I'm just gonna have to go through and uh, uh, read up on it and then what I'll do is I'll make more of a detail uh, video or videos break it up into maybe a couple three different videos on how to use something like this and what everything means and what it's used for if you need it all right so um, hopefully uh, this will work for you and when you want to get out of this hit exit and when you want to hit uh, views to get your different views on here, that's where I'm at right now. And it shows the longitude, latitude in here somewhere. Yep, right there. And uh, there we go. I have to reset the time. The time's not right. So that's a setting you can do. All right. There we go. Let's shut her down. Hold it on for two seconds and off it goes. Just like that. Hopefully this will help. So this uh, video on the uh, Helix uh, 5 Hummingbird uh, Fish Finder. Um, some issues that came up for me. Uh, I'm a rookie on this thing as well so but I'm gonna make some videos like I said to help you guys out if you're uh, you know having issues with it and can't figure out how to set it right like me um, so hopefully this will help and if you liked it uh, the video uh, subscribe and uh, leave comments all right thanks